In this problem, we're computing the final velocity of a disk, and the disk is sitting on a tiny hub with string wrapped around it. And we're not even given the radius of that hub because we don't need it in this problem. And we're going to pull on that string for exactly one meter, maintaining precisely 50 newtons of tension in the string. So the approach to this problem is an energy approach, and I need to just find out how much energy have I pumped into this thing. And then we'll look at the rotational kinetic energy expression for the disk, and we should be able to figure out how fast it's rotating at the end. So first, let's get our energy input. So I should call that a work, work done by the tension. That's just 50 newtons going straight through one meter. So immediately, we find that the disk will have 50 joules of energy in it at the end of this process. Then I set that equal to the rotational kinetic energy. So just a reminder here, rotational kinetic energy is 1 half I omega squared. But the moment of inertia for a disk is given by 1 half mR squared for the disk. So finally, I can put it all together and say that 50 joules is equal to, I'm going to go ahead and combine the fractions there, 1 fourth times the mass of the disk, 3 kilograms, radius of the disk, 0.25 meters. That has to be squared times my final angular velocity squared. So this is a real quick problem. I just have to crunch the numbers, and I get a final angular velocity of 32.7 radians per second.